December 1240. A brutal winter has set in, but the Mongol army, led by Batu Khan, has arrived at the gates of Kiev. This once great city, the heart of the Kievan Rus, is about to face a disaster it will never recover from. Kiev had been a center of Slavic power for centuries, but within days it would be reduced to ashes. The Mongol conquest of Kiev would signal the end of an era and the start of two centuries of Mongol dominance over the region. But how did it come to this? How did Kiev, a city of such importance, fall so completely to the Mongols? And what would this conquest mean for the future of Eastern Europe? Today, we'll uncover the rise and fall of Kiev, the siege tactics of Batu Khan, and the devastating aftermath that reshaped the entire region for centuries to come. Kiev wasn't just another medieval city. Founded in the 9th century, it had been the capital of Kievan Rus, a federation of Slavic peoples that stretched across modern-day Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. By the 11th century, Kiev had become a major religious and cultural hub. In 988, Prince Vladimir the Great converted the region to Orthodox Christianity, linking Kiev spiritually to the Byzantine Empire. But by the early 13th century, the once mighty Kievan Ruses was a shadow of its former self. Civil wars between rival princes had fractured the state, leaving it vulnerable to external threats. The Mongols had been expanding their empire across Asia for decades. Under Genghis Khan, they created one of the most formidable military machines in history. By the time his grandson, Batu Khan, led the Mongols into Europe, the Rus's lands were ripe for conquest. In 1237, Batu Khan began his invasion of the Rus's principalities. Cities like Ryazan, Vladimir, and Suzdal fell one after another, leaving Kiev, the spiritual heart of the Rus, as the next major target. Kiev's ruler at the time, Dimitro, knew the odds were stacked against him. With only a few thousand defenders, including hastily conscripted civilians, he faced a Mongol army of 40,000 to 60,000 seasoned warriors. The Mongols encircled Kiev, cutting off all escape routes. In early December 1240, they began bombarding the city with catapults and trebuchets, launching massive stones and fire into the walls and streets. The Mongols were experts at siege warfare. They dug tunnels to undermine Kiev's walls, and after several days of bombardment, the walls crumbled. The Mongol forces stormed through the breach, overwhelming the defenders. Once inside, the Mongols unleashed a massacre. Entire neighborhoods were burned to the ground. It's estimated that 48,000 people were killed during the siege, including civilians who had sought refuge in churches. Kiev's most important religious and cultural symbols, including the St. Sophia Cathedral, were desecrated, though some buildings like the cathedral survived the worst of the destruction. The Mongols spared few lives and destroyed much of the city's infrastructure. The Monastery of the Caves, one of the holiest sites in Kievan Rus, was also heavily damaged during the siege. The fall of Kiev was not just a military defeat. It marked the end of Kievan Rus' as a unified political entity. The Mongols imposed their rule over the surviving principalities, demanding tribute from the local rulers. Kiev's destruction shifted power northward, and the once great city was eclipsed by the rise of Moscow. While Kiev lay in ruins, Moscow began to grow in influence and strength. For the next two centuries, the Mongol Golden Horde would dominate the Rus's principalities, controlling trade routes, appointing local rulers, and collecting tribute. This period became known as the Mongol Yoke. Culturally, the Mongol invasion devastated Kiev's heritage. Many libraries, churches, and cultural treasures were lost forever. Kiev would never fully regain its former glory. However, the Orthodox Church survived the Mongol occupation. The Mongols, known for their religious tolerance, allowed the Church to continue functioning, though its influence was greatly reduced. 
The Mongol conquest of Kiev was a turning point in Eastern European history. It marked the end of an era for Kievan Rus's and the beginning of Moscow's rise as the dominant power in the region. The Mongol conquest of Kiev in 1240 forever changed the course of Eastern European history. It shattered Kievan Rus's and laid the foundation for the rise of Moscow, which would one day challenge and overthrow Mongol rule. For nearly two centuries, the Mongols controlled the fate of the Russian principalities. Yet, in time, Moscow would grow strong enough to overthrow the Mongol yoke and become the center of a new Russian empire. The devastation of Kiev serves as a powerful reminder of how even the greatest cities can fall. But it also shows how new powers can rise from the ashes, forever altering the trajectory of history. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore more history's harrowing tales.